muffle the iPhone and replace it with this. Wait a second, I know this sounds crazy. Trust me, I've read your comments before, but let me tell you the truth. Apple doesn't care what you think. The clock is already ticking and the iPhone won't be around much longer, but not before it changes in some major ways that some of you will love and some of you will absolutely hate. Apple's 2023 master plan just leaked. So let me tell you about the big news that we're expecting next year, why you should care, how the iPhone is going to get a massive upgrade and downgrade, and also why everything is about to change. 2023 might just be the year, hate to say it, that Android wins. Now, before you start commenting down below, let me answer this question right off the bat. Is Apple going to cancel the iPhone in 2023? No. <laughs> of course not. The 14 Pro is selling really well. Apple's got big headset to get it out there, to get people checking it out, to get people using it, and to get people wanting it and buying it. But it's gonna be expensive and bulky and probably a first-gen device. But then, a couple of years later, Apple is going to shift that technology into glasses, whether they call it Apple Glass, Apple Smart Glasses, whatever it is, basically they're gonna take that package of the headset, build it into glasses that are sleek, simple, easy to wear and easy to use, so you basically have the power of your iPhone wherever you go all the time, built right into here, and one that you can basically always see without having to look down or take this out of your pocket and do this sort of thing. And it could sort of be a win-win for everybody. We get this new device that we love and we get to interact with friends in a whole new way and interact with our lives and our tech in a whole new way. It could be groundbreaking, revolutionary, Apple's magic buzzwords and be really, really cool. And for Apple, it could be great because not only could they sort of keep earning recurring revenue from services and subscriptions and apps for this headset, but also they get to sell or try to sell everybody in the world on this headset that they need to have. Everybody already has an iPhone, but not everybody has a headset, which means that Apple has this whole new product category to explore and they get to try to sell millions, if not you know tens or hundreds of millions of these things around the world over many uh, number of years in order to keep making money and to be more revolutionary than uh, the competition. And that is, at least, if they can pull this off. So I'm curious, what are your thoughts on the Apple headset project? How do you think the iPhone is gonna change? And do you think it's gonna change for the better or the worse? 50 lineup is looking super ambitious. I'm excited to see what happens over the next few years. And I am more excited than I've ever been before to finally see this headset, to finally put the rumors to rest and see once and for all, is it gonna be great? Is it gonna be a flop? Apple's got a whole lot riding on this, basically from what we know, like Tim Cook's reputation is riding on this last project uh, being a make it or break it. So I'm really curious to see in just a couple of months what it's going to be and if it's really going to be as revolutionary as we all think. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you think the iPhone's days are numbered? Do you think that this is gonna be replaced or do you think it's gonna last forever? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And a big thanks to you guys for watching these videos. I appreciate it, thanks so much. I am Robert Rosenfeld and I'll see you all in the next one.